guess what, Jerome the baby? Surprise, we're going on a camping trip. How does my human even remotely think I like these? Come on, Trenta. This weekend is gonna be so much fun. If I'm gonna get out of this, I need to think of a plan at fast. I don't get it. Come on. Come on. What is up with her today? I don't get it, Stephanie. Loading's usually one of the things she does well. Well, maybe you could walk her in a circle and then try the approach again. Are you really gonna be stubborn today out of all days? <gasps> oh. Stephanie, didn't it look like she just tripped? Yeah, that's kind of odd. She's usually so graceful. Right? I wonder if something's horribly wrong. Hey girls, I see you're getting ready for your big camping trip. Hey Sarah, random question. So Toronto just tripped and she never does that. I wonder if something's wrong with her. Maybe I shouldn't take her on this big trail ride thing. Well, how long until she's due for the ferry or for a trim? Well, she's due now for her trim, but she's not coming till next week because that's as soon as she could schedule me. Well, that's probably it. When horses are overdue for their trim, they can trip. Oh, that makes sense. Well, I probably shouldn't take her on this camping trip then. And I can't bring Teddy because Sophie has him at a show jumping competition. Aww. Hey, why don't you take Flora? She could use the experience of getting out on the trails and it'd be so good for her. And we wouldn't have to call off our trip. Really? Thank you so much, Sarah. I can't believe it. I didn't even have that planned. And now, a whole two days doing nothing. Oh, food. <laughs> Come on, Pokey. Sid, get back here. I can't believe you're running from me. Almost there. So, you need to hurry. We gotta get out of here now. Sid, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going horse camping with you guys. Um, we didn't invite you, so... Teresa. What? We didn't. You are not leaving me here by myself to do all the chores we've been slacking on. Uh, let's get your horses loaded. So, Sid, are you sure you're allowed to come? No, she's not. Oh, sorry, Sid. Maybe next time. Sid? Uh, we need to go now. What are you doing in my Jeep, let alone starting it? You're not coming. You don't understand. That's my sister Sam. My parents said I could come. She doesn't want me to go and have a good time though because she'll probably end up doing chores. No, you don't understand. We didn't say you could come. It'll be fine, Teresa. If I were you, I'd step on it. All right, no more nice guy. Ramsey girl, get off my Jeep. Or they're gonna call the police. What do you think you're doing? Uh, it's gonna be such a long weekend pulling weeds. Wow, usually the only way to get her off is to go really, really fast. The map says we need to go left onto this road. I don't know, Stephanie. Are you sure? Well, Teresa, it's not gonna be alongside the highway. We're camping. This road is absolutely horrid. Wow, our first wild animal sighting. I thought it wasn't supposed to rain. Okay, that took way longer to get here than I ever thought it would. But look, the mountain lion followed us here. Oh my gosh. Uh, Teresa, do you need help with your tent? I can get my tent set up. It's just there's ants here. I'm gonna camp by the horses. There, now I'm not over there with the train of ants. So when do we get to go for a ride? Probably not till tomorrow. It's getting kind of late now. So we better get our campfire started. Yes, now we create fire. Ugh. Ugh, it's not working. Oh no, did the matches get wet in the rainstorm? I don't know, maybe. Is that why it's not working? Well girls, I guess we're gonna be eating our marshmallows untoasted. What about my vegan sausages? 
Well, everybody knows that if you rub two sticks together, you can make Freya. Why do you keep saying it like that? I don't know if that'd work for us, Sid. Our wood's really green and wet. Well, so much for this. I'm gonna go check on the horses. You mean you're going to give up on the fire? Yes, yes, I'm giving up on the fire! Flora, what's wrong? I miss Ruby. We do everything together. Seriously? You're buddy sour? Oh my gosh, it's a one night. Get over it. <laughs> You're a vicious little pony. This is my first time away from her. <laughs> hey girl, you're really antsy, aren't you? Oh my gosh, hey, all better. Teresa, if you get scared, my tent is right over there. Oh my gosh, Sid, you're a little kid, and if anybody's going to get scared, uh, never mind. Good night. Big ride tomorrow. Teresa, did you put away our food? Uh, why? Yeah? I think. Well, I don't think you did because I hear him crunching and I saw a sign on the way up here that said we're not supposed to feed the wild animals. Good going, Teresa. Oh my gosh. Ew, he's sitting on the table. He just knocked it over. Shoot. Shoot, Teddy Cat. Shoot. I don't know if we should be scared or not. Oh, hey guys, take the pony! <laughs> Wolves? Uh, definitely. Now a wild horse! Uh, Teresa, did you secure the horse feed? Why is everybody expecting me to do everything? It's your horse's do! Friend! Oh my gosh! A friend! Okay, but this is so cool! You really should come out and see this, not just peep through your tent. I am not coming out. I think the wolf one's still around. Ugh, so cold. What are you guys doing? You're getting ready to ride already? It's so early, and what, you were just gonna, like, not even wake me up and leave? Well, if we're gonna complete the trail we want to do, we have to get riding. And I was actually gonna tack up Flora for you and then wake you up. Oh, uh, I'll go get out of my pajamas. Wow, she's a real ray of sunshine in the morning. Come on, Teresa. Pokey's getting impatient. Is it Pokey or you? Just hold on, I need to pack some candy bars. Don't worry about it, Teresa. I already got those. Okay, okay, good. All right, let's go. So the map said this trail leads to a place called Apricot Knob. There's supposed to be a spectacular view. Well, good thing I have my phone with me. Pictures! So, will there be apricots to eat? I doubt if they're ripe this time of year, if there is. It's fine. I like sour fruit. <laughs> I really hope a ginormous bee doesn't come by for that flower. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Me and Pokey are just gonna wait for one. Look! Oh, this is a bug. Okay, but the grass is taller than my pony. This is an issue. Anyway, excuse me. We're just gonna take over the lead here. And the pony shall lead us. Uh, okay. Wow, you guys, look at this place. So cool. 
Yeah, well, I've never been much for caves. They're kind of spooky. Wait, where's Sid? Well, that one was a dead end. Are you crazy? You went down there? You know, let's just get out of here. What? I don't get what her problem is. You know, you would think for a little pony she'd get full at some point. Well, here we are, and there's the view. Oh my gosh, time for pictures. Wait till I post these on Instagram. Look at the view. Close my eyes. Squeeze them tight. Open them. Picks you're taken. Well, we're all ready to head out. Now we just say goodbye to all the wild animals. All right, you know, I think I need a shower. Um, Stephanie, are you sure you don't want to ride in the front? <laughs> no, it's good. I like all the room in the back. We're all loaded up. Let's go home. You mean let's blow this popsicle stand? Well, I guess that's another way of putting it. Wow, another wildlife sighting. Oh, just drive around here. This is such a long drive. I wish we had internet signal up here so I could play my Spotify playlist. Don't worry, Teresa. Oh, way up north with his ice and snow. They lived up penguin and his name was Joe. He got so tired of black and white. He wore pink socks to the dance last night. Cats have whiskers, cats have fur. When they feel good, they will purr. Cats will chase us through our ball. Cats are cats and that is all. My invention, it's worth mention. If you saw it, you would know. It's fantastic, it's bombastic. And what's more, it even glows. Mr. Bluebird, Mr. Bluebird, I can hear your song. I know why you sing so well. You practice all day long. No, ugh, anything to make her stop. <laughs> Teresa, pull over. What was that noise? Uh, we blew a tire. Well, no worries. We can just change it. Ugh. Okay, well, you get the spare tire off and I'll get the tools. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Teresa, this thing is really stuck. Uh, well, you push, I'll pull. E, e, e. Good job, guys. Keep going. Really? You got out of camping chair? Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. Yes, I got it. Alright, Teresa, so where's your tools? Oh, right, the tools. Eh. Um, I think all the tools are in the other horse trailer, which Sophie took to the horse show with Teddy. What? You know, what are we even doing here? Let's just call one of them tire shops and have them come out and fix this. It's Sunday. Okay, we'll call my mom. She's great at fixing things. We don't have cell phone reception. What are you doing with my phone? We don't have cell phone reception. Ugh, now what? If we just had some fire, we could do smoke signals. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, wait, wait! Do you have tools? We blew a tire and we don't have any tools. Uh, well, yeah, but no. Um, th th they won't work. Okay, what do you mean they won't work? Can we try? Please? Well, that was rude. Howdy, looks like y'all are experiencing a little misfortune. Yeah, can you believe it? We blew a tire and we don't have any tools to fix it. I don't know how you guys live out here without cell phone reception. Anyway, I'm so happy you guys came by. Can you help us? Sure, we'll just ride back to our barn and get the tools. Okay, great! Yay! Huh, Leah and Emily saving the day. They're kind of always saving the day. You know, they kind of make me feel so helpless. 
Maybe that's because you are. Okay, thanks. Hey girls, what's going on? Sophie! Well, we did our camping trip, but now we've blown a tire, and this is great because the tools are in this trailer. So, how'd the show go? Aw, oh, Teddy was a good boy, but I'm just getting started again this year, so we knocked a few rails, but I'm not complaining. My good boy! Aha! Okay, now that I got this tool thingamajiggy, I can unscrew these. Uh, it's un so tight! Ah, <laughs> uh, the tool's broken. Oh no, are you sure you weren't tightening it instead of loosening it? Maybe that's why it snapped. Ah, uh, good job, Teresa. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Don't tell me you're broken down too. Actually, no, I just thought it'd be a nice person and let my friends break the tool I had. Yeah, I'll get you a new one. Actually, I think the tool belongs to our instructor, Sarah. Oh, really? Well, then I will definitely get a new one. Well, for now, let's just get this taken care of. All right, thanks for all your help, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's go home.